Welcome to your next unit on trying understand trying and understanding personalities and various other behavioral aspects when it comes to international human resource management. Our next unit is where we try and understand the big five personality traits. Have you ever wondered why is it that different human beings try and react differently to various situations? According to psychology, there are five personality traits that can explain human behavior. You can try and remember these five personality traits by the acronym OCEAN. Yeah, that's O-C-E-A-N, which can be tried and categorized as the openness that people have, the consciences that people have, the extroversion dimension, the agreeableness dimension, and the neuroticism that people have. Now, whenever we speak about openness dimension of personality, we typically speak about how open are actually people to various aspects like to the degrees of creativity, the degrees of curiosity, and the openness that they have towards variety and novelty. Those people who score high on this index are the ones who are extremely creative and imaginative, and the ones who scroll, score low on this particular dimension are the ones who are more practical and are the ones who are more grounded, which is our first dimension to the big five personality traits. A second dimension is the consciences, which each personality has different in terms of the dimension that they have. Now, when we speak about conscience, it's one of the big five personality traits that measures the person's ability to be goal oriented and organized. People who score high on this dimension are the ones who are extremely hardworking. They are the ones who can set larger goals and try and break them down into smaller goals and work towards it. People who score low on these dimensions are typically the ones, the more laid back ones and the more impulsive ones. They're very spontaneous in the way that they try and take life. And they're someone who typically are not very goal oriented. The third personality trait is something which we call as extroversion. Extroversion is typically that personality trait that speaks about where people end up getting the energy from. Are they people who try and get the energy from external factors or are they people who, are, who try and get the energy from internal factors, which is the opposite of extroversion, that is introversion. The fourth personality trait is agreeableness. Agreeableness refers to that aspect of our personality where people are agreeable in terms of honesty and loyalty towards their work. People who score high on terms of agreeableness are the ones who are more grounded. Uh, they are the ones who have a very mild response to experiences. But people who score low in terms of agreeableness are the ones who typically f use flattery in try and understanding people. They are the ones who are extremely skeptical of other people and their motives. The fourth and the last aspect which tries and establishes um, the fifth dimension is neuroticism. Neuroticism is the way that people react to negative emotions in their life. The people who score high on neuroticism are the ones who have a tendency to magnify the negative emotions in their life. They are the ones who have a tendency to get extremely moody, nervous and the way that they try and take the negative emotions in their life. And people who score low in terms of neuroticism are the, again the ones who are the more laid back, the more people who try and take negative emotions not so intensely as the ones with a higher neuroticism. So this wraps up the big five personality traits and one of the most important theories when it comes to trying and understanding personality differences that set us apart. Thank you.